hello all welcome to tech capture myself Vishal Bulbuli and in this video we are going to see about a workspace in Terraform so to understand the concept of a workspace in Terraform we'll take one simple example so here in my taskbar you could see there are two different Google Chrome windows are open so even though I install a single instance of a Google Chrome it will maintain the data separately using a profile concept so in Google Chrome I created two profiles so one will maintain the data format this gmail id which will be my at the rate gmail.com and i created another profile which will maintain my data for at the rate tech capture.com so similar way in terraform we can create a separate workspace to maintain a separate state file so now you could see here we are having only a single state file that is terraform.tf state and to check the workspace currently so we currently don't created any workspace explicitly so by default there will be a default workspace so how we can check that so we can run a command terraform workspace and i will see the available command so you you could see the available commands are new list show select and delete terraform workspace so i'll just list available workspace okay so currently here only a default workspace is available and star it indicates we are currently in this default workspace now I'll coming back to the code here I am having this code to create a one GCE instance in my GCP PD project so I'll go to my cloud console and I will show my Google project here okay so currently here i am having a two project one is gcp project dev and one is having gcp project prod so just one thing so gcp project dev have the project id gcp hyphen p hyphen d which i am using here now i want to create a two separate workspace one is for dev project and one will be for prod project so how i will create that so i will create here terraform workspace new and first i will create a dev workspace so once you create a dev workspace by default immediately it will switch to your dev workspace and if i do a terraform list again the star mark will be in dev workspace so you could see the star marks in dev mix means currently we are in a dev workspace so let me create one more workspace which is a prod and immediately it will create and switch to prod workspace so we don't need to explicitly switch once we create a workspace and if i do a list now it will show asterisk in a prod okay so we are in a prod so now suppose i want to create so this project is currently a dev project now i want to check if i am in a dev project this vm instance should be created in a dev and if i am in a prod workspace the vm should be created in the prod project so we can add the condition here so how i can add so i'll just give terraform dot workspace so it will show my default workspace and i'll give the condition if terraform dot workspace is equal to dev then it will create in dev project else it will create in gcp project hyphen prod okay so i'll see now if it will works fine so let me check in current workspace so we are currently in prod workspace so let me execute a terraform plan okay so it is creating one vm instance so we are executing from a prod workspace it should create our vm instance in a prod project we'll see if it is working properly you could see project gcp project prod and i'll go here in my console in my prod project okay and i'll open a new tab and here i will select a dev project i'll select a dev project and I'll execute a Terraform apply now. Okay. 
and we'll see in which project so it should create in a prod project and not in a dev project so it is creating instance i'll just refresh in prod project okay so it created a workspace demo in a prod and there is nothing in a dev okay so it created now if i switch to a uh, dev workspace so how we can switch terraform workspace select dev okay and now just for validation i will just show list here and we are in dev workspace now and if i execute a terraform plan again it still show we need to add one resource so even though we created one resource in a prod with the same code it is still showing that we need to create one resource and the project now it will show in a dev project so here you could see this is our dev project project study so the question you might get like how it is maintaining the state file then because if we are creating the resource it will create entry in the state file and in next plan it will check that state and if resource is already created it will say resource is already created and no changes are required so the workspace concept is here it will maintain the different state file so where we can check so here you could see it created one folder immediately after we created a workspace so in this folder there are two different folders for each workspace so for dev workspace we have a dev state file and for prod we'll have in this state file in prod so i'll just expand this now we already created resource in prod so there is a state file present in tf terraform tf state and it will have the details of the instance we created but in dev there is nothing as of now immediately if i do a apply it will create entry in a dev as well so we will see here it is creating and immediately it creating state file here also and now it will create a resource or a instance in this dev project i'll just refresh this it creating the instance we'll wait for it and it created now it has two separate file for two different workspace and for our default workspace it will use this default tf state file from the root module now let me execute terraform plan again now it will show no changes required because now it is reading state file from the dev folder okay no changes even though if i switch to prod it will show no changes Because we already created this resource in prod workspace as well okay no changes so in this way we can maintain two separate files for two separate workspace and we can use this kind of workspace for testing as well so suppose we'll test our code first in a dev environment and if it is working fine then we can go ahead and test our code or like post our code in a prod environment so it in this way it will not harm a production infrastructure as well as a production a state file now we'll see how we can uh, delete a workspace so in, if we delete the workspace it should delete the state file as well so first i will delete terraform workspace delete prod so we are currently in a prod workspace so it is saying you cannot delete currently active workspace so we need to switch to default workspace so i'll switch to default workspace and now i will execute delete prod workspace is a uh, not mp so workspace prod is currently tracking the following resources instance so this is a uh, already having details of this instance in the state file so that's why it's not able to delete so it is giving us a warning here so we can do just we will go to prod we'll destroy the resource we'll just do a terraform destroy
and once it is destroyed we will go back and delete our workspace okay it is destroying the virtual machine okay so resource is destroyed now i'll switch to default and i'll try to delete a workspace now okay deleted workspace and it deleted the file from the prod also or prod folder also so in this way we can create workspace and maintain a separate state file so that's it for the terraform workspace so let me know if you have any question in a comment section i will try to answer that so thank you for uh, watching this video